we go to algebraic expressions. Question number nine. P squared minus 4MC divided by 2M squared minus 7MP plus 3P squared. So when we are solving this algebraic expression, you look at the numerator and then you, you look at the denominator. We can see the numerator is a difference of two squares. A difference of two squares means a squared minus b squared, which can be written as a plus b into a minus b. Therefore, p squared minus 4m squared, you can see it is p squared minus 4 can be written as 2 raised to power 2, m raised to power 2. So when you simplify this with a difference of two squares, you just write p minus 2m into p plus 2m. A, my, a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b into a minus b. Therefore, if you have p squared minus 2 squared m squared, can be written as, you just collect P with 2M, then there's a square, there's a difference of two squares. You square it, but you, you pick it, but with the sign changed. That is P plus 2M. So this is the numerator. Then we go to the denominator. At the denominator, we have 2M squared minus 7MP plus 3P squared. This is a quadratic equation, and we solve it quadratically just by factorizing. Look for two numbers that when you multiply, gives you 2m squared 2m times 3p. So when you multiply them, gives you 6mp. When you multiply the two numbers, gives you 6mp. But when you add the same two numbers, gives you... When you add the same two numbers, let the numbers be A and B. When you add the same numbers, gives you minus 7MP. So when we get two numbers that when we multiply, gives you 6. When you add, gives you minus 7. The numbers are minus 1 and minus 6. You come back here. But now, because we have MP, MP, we'll just replace MP, MP. So we have 2m squared minus mp, which is represented by minus 1, then minus 6mp, which is represented by this minus 6, plus 3p squared. Then you simplify this by just collecting the like terms. So 2m squared, okay. Simplify this side of the equation and this side of the equation. So what is common in these two is m into m goes into 2m squared 2m times minus m goes into mp p times. Then what is common between these two is minus 3p. p is here, p is here, 3 is here, and 3, 6 is here. So 3 can go into 6. So what is common on this side is 3p. So 3p goes into 6mp 2m times. When you open this, it gives you 6mp. Minus, minus times plus, I said is minus. 3p goes into 3p squared how many times? p times. Therefore, as you can see in our brackets, we have 2m minus p, again 2m minus p. So you just collect them together, 2m minus p, use 1, into, take this m, then take this minus 3p. This is the denominator. So remember our numerator is this, which is p plus 2m, p plus 2m, divided by our denominator is 2m minus p into m minus 3p. So from this, we want to simplify this further. So how do we simplify it? We have p plus 2m. 
but here we have 2 m minus p. So we can make this be equal to this by simply multiplying the upper part of the equation by negative 1. So when you open this, the downer part, no, sorry, the downer part by negative 1. So when you open this, you will get p plus 2m divided by 2m plus p into m minus 3p. So 2m plus p and 2m plus p cancel. So here you remain with 1 divided by m minus 3p. Then remember we have minus here. This was a difference of two squares, sorry. Sorry, that is why I was not seeing it coming out. So this is also p plus 2m and then this is p minus 2m. Now that's okay. So here we have p minus 2m. So remember we still have a negative. So let me just take you back a little bit because I've introduced a, a negative here. So from here, just, just get me from here, p plus 2m, which is here p plus 2m, then p minus 2m, which is this part of the value. I only took one part, sorry for that. So we take both of them. That is p plus 2m. We start, just forget about this. So we start from here. p plus 2m into p minus 2m divide by 2m minus p into m minus 3p. So you can clearly see from here, we have p plus 2m into p minus 2m divided by 2m minus p into m minus 3p. So introduce the negative so that at least this becomes a factor of one of these. So when you introduce a negative at the top, you will get, multiply this by the negative, you will get 2m minus p. Minus times minus 2m is 2m. Then minus times p is minus p. Into bracket, this value is p plus 2m divided by 2m minus p into m minus 3p. Remember, we have negative here. So 2m minus p over 2m minus p, this and this cancel. So here you remain with p plus 2m divided by m minus 3p. So if you have a negative here, we can divide this by negative. Here now you will get, just follow me here, we are almost finishing it. When you multiply this by a negative, you get 3p. The denominator is 3p plus m. 3p minus m, sorry. 3p minus m. Then the numerator becomes p plus 2m. You can see the way these uh, letters is playing around. It's just a matter of the signs, how you place the signs. That is what is very important. So you be careful when you solve such ma mathematics. Number one, if you know what to do, the difference of two squares and solving the quadratic expression. The most important thing you do in such mathematics is to observe, check the signs keenly, how you place the signs. So we finished that. Question 10. 3z squared minus 12 divided by 3 minus 1 plus z. So remember I told you, you observe the difference of two squares. Simplify. So here we can see 3z squared minus 12. What is, what is common between 3 and 12 is 3. So you can, you can simplify this by saying 3 into z squared minus, 3 goes into 12, 4 times divide by 3 
minus when 3 minus into 1 plus z. So from here, we have 3 into z squared. Then minus 4 can be written as minus 2 squared. Divide by, when, uh, divide by 3 minus 1 plus z. So this is the difference of 2 squared. And we say the difference of 2 squared, a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b into a minus b. So you only replace this by saying 3 into z minus 2 into z plus 2. Divide by, when you open up this, when you open up this, it becomes 3 minus, minus 1 times 1 is minus 1, minus 1 times z is minus z. So this becomes 2 minus z. So down here we have 2 minus z. Again, you can easily see that we have 3 into z minus 2 plus in 3 into z minus 2 into z plus 2 divided by 2 minus z. Here we have 3 into z minus 2 into z plus 2 divided by 2 minus z. Again, there is a relationship between z minus 2 and 2 minus z, but we introduce a negative one at the numerator. So when you introduce a negative one at the numerator, we will have negative three into, this is z, minus one times two times minus two is two. Then minus one times z is minus z into z plus two. This remains, you divide by two minus z. So we can clearly cancel 2 minus z and 2 minus z. What do you remain with? Minus 3 into z plus 2. So when you expand this, you will have minus 3z minus 6. But you can just leave it in this form. That is the answer for this. So, uh, I want to caution, to caution you. Actually, this, this, this uh, mathematics, you need to be very careful with the signs. Because if you miss a positive for a negative, then be automatic that you are going to get it wrong. But it's still easy. It just requires a lot of keenness.